Section. Introduction. We're going to talk about a problem with large language models, LLMs, which are computer programs that generate human-like text. These models sometimes make things up, or, hallucinate, when they're answering questions or creating content. For instance, they might invent fake citations, create non-existent titles for biographies, or make up new features for products. This is a problem if we want to use these models in real-world applications, because we need to be able to trust their outputs. The challenge is that it's hard to monitor and reduce these hallucinations. Let's say a model invents a term like, fixed liability response, when it's summarizing a meeting. It would be difficult for a simple rule-based system to decide whether this term is worth checking and whether it's real or made up. And if we try to use humans or other LLMs to check for hallucinations in long pieces of text, it's slow, costly, and prone to errors. So, we can't easily use traditional machine learning techniques like gradient descent or reinforcement learning to reduce hallucinations, because we can't efficiently calculate the loss or reward. To tackle this problem, we've developed a method called SYNTRA, which uses synthetic data to reduce hallucinations. SYNTRA works by creating a synthetic task where we can easily and efficiently check for hallucinations. We then use this task to train the LLM to hallucinate less. The synthetic task needs to have two properties. The LLM should hallucinate often on the task, and we should be able to easily and automatically check for hallucinations. In our work, we use a task where the LLM is given a list of random names and asked to retrieve the first few names that start with a certain letter. We say the model is hallucinating if it generates a name that's not on the list. We then use SYNTRA to train the LLM to hallucinate less on this synthetic task. We do this by optimizing the system message. For example, you are a helpful AI assistant, by adding a continuous postfix to it and then optimizing the postfix. We focus on optimizing the system message rather than the whole model because we believe this will transfer well to other tasks. We also make sure the LLM keeps its output constant on a set of reference prompts, so it doesn't latch onto irrelevant features of the synthetic task. We found that SYNTRA consistently reduces hallucinations across different models, tasks, and metrics. We tested SYNTRA on three realistic tasks, search and retrieve, meeting summarization, and clinical report generation. We found that optimizing the system message consistently reduces hallucinations. For example, on one model, SYNTRA reduced the hallucination rate by over 7 points on average and 16 points on specific tasks. However, SYNTRA does have some limitations. It requires designing a synthetic task, and it reduces hallucinations more on some models than others. But overall, our work shows that we can use synthetic data to target and reduce unwanted behaviors in LLMs. Now, let's dive into the details of how SYNTRA works. We use synthetic tasks to reduce hallucinations on realistic tasks. We're focusing on LLMs that take prompts, like, write a clinical report about the following dialogue, and produce long-form outputs, like, overview, patient has. The behavior of the LLM is influenced by two things, a system message that gives high-level instructions, and the raw model weights. We represent the LLM as a combination of the system function that adds the prompt to the system message, and the raw LLM that generates text based on weights. We measure hallucinations on tasks where models respond to queries given some context. We define a hallucination as an error where the output contains some information that is not supported by the context. The hallucination rate is the expectation over the distribution of prompts and sampling during LLM decoding. However, the hallucination function is at best expensive to evaluate for many different user prompts and outputs, and at worst intractable. This is especially true for tasks like summarizing, as even humans can struggle to read and remember long contexts while evaluating generated summaries. To measure hallucination in general, we use proxy metrics that can use reference outputs or external databases to approximate the hallucination function. Section Summary Large language models, LLMs, often generate fabricated content, known as hallucinations, when responding to queries. However, Directly reducing hallucinations in LLMs is challenging due to the difficulty of evaluating them during optimization. 
To address this, we propose SYNTRA, a method that uses synthetic data to efficiently evaluate and reduce hallucinations in LLMs. By optimizing the system message and using a synthetic task that frequently induces hallucinations, SYNTRA consistently reduces hallucination rates across models and tasks. Section. Synthetic tasks. We're going to discuss a method to reduce the occurrence of hallucination, which is when a language model generates information that isn't present in the input data. The straightforward approach would be to optimize against the hallucination rate across all tasks at once, but this isn't feasible. The hallucination function is too complex to evaluate on a large scale, making direct optimization impossible. Using proxy metrics to optimize is also problematic, as they may not accurately represent hallucination and could still be costly to optimize. Instead of trying to optimize a proxy, we focus on optimizing the true hallucination rate on a specially designed synthetic task. We create a synthetic task in such a way that the hallucination function, when applied to this task, is easy to evaluate and optimize. For instance, if the prompts contain random first and last names and ask the language model to retrieve a certain number of names that start with a specific letter, we can check if the model hallucinates by verifying whether each name it generates is in the prompt. We can then optimize to reduce the hallucination rate directly. We aim to design synthetic tasks that meet two criteria. The language model frequently hallucinates on the task, and we can efficiently test for hallucination on the task. The first criterion ensures that optimizing on the synthetic task helps the model hallucinate less, while the second criterion makes optimization feasible. We introduce SYNTRA, a method that defines a synthetic task, optimizes the system message or model weights on the synthetic task, and then transfers the learned system message or model weights to realistic tasks. We optimize a mix of two losses, where a hyperparameter alpha determines the balance between the two. If alpha equals 1, we optimize on the synthetic task, while if alpha equals 0, we optimize to preserve the original model. We then apply the learned parameters on realistic tasks. We evaluate SYNTRA through empirical validation. We describe the setup, show how SYNTRA reduces the hallucination rate on realistic tasks, test output quality and other hallucination metrics, and isolate the impact of the reference data. We optimize the system message using prefix tuning and the entire language model with standard fine tuning. We study how well SYNTRA reduces hallucination on three realistic language model use cases, search and retrieve, meeting summarization, and automated clinical report generation. We use a dataset called ACI Bench for automated clinical report generation, which contains dialogues between doctors and patients. The task is to generate a clinical report with four specific headings using these dialogues. For the reference data, we use Squad as a source of 50,000 prompts. For each passage, we ask the language model to respond to the associated query, and for half we ask it to explain its reasoning or think step by step. We measure whether SYNTRA teaches language models to hallucinate less. We first verify that SYNTRA reduces the hallucination rate on the synthetic task, then measure whether it reduces the hallucination rate on realistic tasks. We find that for every realistic task and language model, Sintra is able to reduce hallucination by optimizing on a mixture of the names and reference data. On average, optimizing the system message decreases the hallucination rate by 7.5 points on Orca, a 29% reduction, and 2.5 points on Vicuña, a 7% reduction. We also discuss which components are necessary for SYNTRA to transfer to realistic tasks, including the optimization parameters, reference, and language model. Our results show that optimizing the system message instead of the whole language model is sometimes necessary to reduce hallucination. Regularizing with reference data is also critical to reduce the hallucination rate. Finally, SYNTRA consistently reduces the hallucination rate more on Orca than Vicuña and the gains of optimizing the system message instead of the full language model weights are larger for ORCA. Section Summary The authors propose a method called SYNTRA to reduce hallucination in language models. They construct a synthetic task that is easy to evaluate and optimize, and then optimize the hallucination rate on this task. They demonstrate that SYNTRA effectively reduces hallucination on realistic tasks such as search and retrieve, 
meeting summarization, and automated clinical report generation. Section. Assessing how SYNTRA reduces hallucination. We're now going to explore how SYNTRA helps to reduce hallucination, which is the generation of incorrect or irrelevant information by language models. We want to ensure that SYNTRA isn't just taking advantage of any weaknesses in the GPT-4 evaluation process. To do this, we're going to check if the outputs generated by SYNTRA are of lower quality or contain fewer specific details compared to the original outputs. This will also help us confirm that SYNTRA is indeed reducing the rate of hallucination. Next, we want to see if the language model is avoiding hallucination by generating fewer details. We use a high-quality model that can identify specific entities in the healthcare field to calculate all entities in the output and context on ACI bench. We then measure the number of grounded entities, which are entities in the output that also appear in the context. To directly test for hallucination, we also measure the number of ungrounded entities, which are entities in the output that do not appear in the context and could potentially be hallucinated. Our findings show that SYNTRA doesn't significantly reduce the number of grounded entities. It decreases the number of grounded entities generated by ORCA by 1.4% and by Vicuña by 14.8%. However, SYNTRA reduces the number of ungrounded entities by a larger margin, 19.2% for ORCA and 36.5% for Vicuña. When we fine-tune and train without the reference data, we eliminate more grounded and ungrounded entities. These results suggest that SYNTRA is reducing the hallucination rate by decreasing the number of ungrounded entities across all tested methods. We also want to see if optimizing on the reference data helps to combat task-specific spurious attributes, which can increase the hallucination rate. We use new lines as an easily measurable spurious attribute. In the names retrieval task, all correct answers do not have new lines, so language models may learn that new lines are associated with hallucinations. However, never outputting a new line could lead to errors. We found that training on reference data helps to mitigate the effect of these spurious attributes. SYNTRA reduces hallucination by optimizing the language model system message. We append a continuous postfix and then optimize using prefix tuning. Our work provides further evidence that prefixes can transfer well between classification tasks for generative tasks. We've introduced SYNTRA as a method to reduce hallucination by defining and exploiting synthetic tasks. SYNTRA reduces the hallucination rate across a range of realistic evaluation tasks. There are many ways we could improve SYNTRA, such as improving the optimization method, adapting SYNTRA to reduce hallucination on models that are only accessible via APIs, and scaling SYNTRA to larger open source models. While we provide guidelines for choosing synthetic tasks, we don't yet know what properties causally reduce hallucination. Understanding this would help us define synthetic tasks more systematically and determine which other language model behaviors can be controlled with synthetic data. Finally, we pose a question. When is it better to define a synthetic task than to collect human feedback on realistic tasks directly? Synthetic tasks allow us to generate a lot of data to optimize on and make biases clearer. However, identifying good synthetic tasks can be challenging and methods like SYNTRA require a step that induces loss after optimization. On the other hand, optimizing on demonstrations eliminates the transfer step and may generalize more broadly, but requires expensive feedback that can bias the resulting model in unexpected ways. Understanding when collecting synthetic data is more effective than demonstrations could help better allocate resources as we aim to ensure that language models are reliable, helpful, and safe. Section Summary the paper discusses the assessment of how SYNTRA reduces hallucination in language models. The authors conducted tests to determine if SYNTRA-generated outputs are of lower quality and contain fewer specific details compared to original outputs. The results showed that SYNTRA decreases the number of ungrounded entities, indicating a reduction in hallucination. Additionally, the paper explores the use of synthetic tasks to optimize language models and suggests further improvements to reduce hallucination rates. Section. Acknowledgements. In the Acknowledgements section, we express our gratitude to Basmura Nushi, Alex Pan, Mert Yuxekonal, Olivia Watkins, Jacob Steinhardt, 
and Ruiki Zhang for their valuable insights and feedback on our work.